Hello guys and welcome to How to Tech. In today's video, we'll be doing a short tutorial on Pika Labs. In recent days, Pika Labs has gained a lot of popularity, especially when it comes to text to video generation or image to video generation. Pika Labs is actually giving a very tough competition to Runway ML as well, and particularly because of the fact that it's mostly free. Obviously, you also have the paid plans with Pika Labs. You can generate a video clipping of three seconds easily with Pika Labs and that too absolutely free. To do that, you need to come to pika.art. I'll be giving the link as well in the description. And you have to click on this particular join beta button. Once you click on the join beta button, you'll be redirected to the Discord server for Pika, which is this. This is going to be the icon for the Pika. If you're familiar with the Discord account, you will be having the announcement and the recent updates and the rules and chat, community and creations. So you need to come to one of the, you know, uh, creations community over here. Let's say I click on generate to and then all you have to do is slash create. Right. And you can enter your prompt. So let's say I'll be typing in the prompt and you can type in whatever prompt that you want. My prompt would be a sunset on Mars. And if you want to give any images, you have to click on the plus one more icon and you can even give an image from your desktop. So one of the most common problems with Pika Labs Discord thing that I just showed you is that your creation will be lost amongst the sea of various creators that is trying to create their own creations as well. So what is the solution to this is you need to create your own server or you need to have separate Pika bot to go ahead and give your prompts. So for that, if you need personalized messages, all you need to do is right click on the Pika bot server at the top right. And remember, for some of you, it might be hidden. So you need to give a toggle at the top right, which shows so member list, right? This particular icon. So you need to go ahead and click this show member list to have a visibility of all the members that are present over here. And from that, you need to choose in Pika and right click on Pika. Just go to message. So once you type in message, you'll be having a separate direct messages icon at the top left of your Discord server. And inside that, you'll be able to see Pika. Now you need to do is the same thing, which is slash create, and you can give your own creation. So for for example, if I can just show you the magic that I can do with Pika, I've got already good images created with Mid Journey. So I uh, all I'll do is turn this into an animation, right? Three second animation. So I'll say slash create, and I'll give the prompt, and from the plus one more, I will give an image as a reference. It will ask me for a reference. I will say the reference would be this image of a boy along with the car. Okay, so this is the boy and the car image that I have got. So from for the prompt, I'll say cute little Pixar animated boy repairing his car. And already the image reference is there. So I'll hit on enter. And we are done. As I was telling you, this is going to be a length of just three seconds. Let me go ahead and zoom this a bit. And here we are. So a beautiful animation generated by Pika Labs out of a mid-journey static image. So that's it for this video. And if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Till the next time we meet, keep creating and happy AI. Bye-bye.